Hello, Fubus people, it's Mr. Fubus. Today, I'll be about to do Team 7, Episode 6, Bells of St. John. And this, the doctor is in a monastery in 703. And this is a good reference to uh, Tom Baker being a monk before he came after. And the monk just knows that there's some bells coming from the tired of the day bells and on a ringing. This is the title. So it's just pointless in dealing with the plot. So, hmm. And now there's Clara calling from 2000 and between the internet and my daughter asked where she got the number that she got from this one from the store game because that's the helpline in the universe and I thought just walk it through of a house to get in that back and since he's a nanny he asked uh, one of the kids uh, what password is and basically, it's the initials of what she usually says before she dies. Like what she says to the doctor. Memory. Pretty poor if memory ever. Or memory. Why that, that, those lines? Is it so the doctor knows who she is? Doctor puts her after name. I'm sure she probably love Clara's, but still. And it also turns out there's this a uh, group of people that are taking that uh, other people's minds and putting them in the clouds. And they're about to take uh, Clara's mind. But then the doctor turns up from a uh, seminal tree and still dressed as a monk and Clara is just scared of scared of what causes them. So he's just a weird man in a monk uh, robes. And then uh, another girl, she sees a little girl on the stairs, and there's a, a, a girl from the storybook. And the money's taken away. So one of the best scenes in this was where he was in the car and taking off the monk robes and just uh, and it's close together. He had three great scenes in this. This is the first one. The second is when I keep it say uh, getting Claire to bed and looking out through some of her in some uh, biscuits and that. And the third one when he comes out with the character with Clara and they're in London and he's there uh, asks everybody for some money to put in, put in the beds because they're Going for breakfast and the new money. I just pass up a, ma a magic trick. It's just great. So as I said, the doctor gets Clara out, and the people in charge are just baffled at how they do it. And as he sends them a message saying that Clara is protected, and has and he puts the doctor in it. I don't know why, since I don't think they would have known him. As River said, he erased all information of himself uh, from the universe. Um, then uh, the one the one in charge talks to their client, gives us his spoilers, the great intelligence. And then we got the tired to talk in the middle of the night, and I'll say that. Not me, Karen Gillen, you have good chemistry, but I don't think that much of a good uh, character in this. Like, uh, so you don't know anything about uh, computers or electronics or the internet. But then when the people, are taking people, other people's minds, uh, give her a bumper package of knowledge on uh, the internet, so many jokes on Twitter. I had a great scene where the doctor uh, is yeah, just being aware that the lights are going on in the people's houses around the neighborhood. Then a plane is crashing. I thought because of the Wi Fi. And there's a good uh, transition of the 
Dr. Clara Golden's card, Dr. Explains card to Clara a little bit. Then it's there in a plane, and he's explaining that he's 80 and he's a thousand years old, and you don't know how to, to fly a plane, and that's why Clara Golden's a good one. It looks like a good scene. And this will add cinematography as well. Uh, like I said, when the doctor in the car is around in the morning in the morning, and he goes back in after getting Claire to get the money, and he's there with the motorcycle, and they have tea or, or breakfast. Um, all through the episode, when the doctor meets Claire, he keeps on asking her why he's a nanny and uh, why he's doing this, and he's very Victorian. Of being a nanny. I don't know why. And then Clara just said, uh, point out what the saying, what her uh, name to be on the internet, which is Odd Win. And that was a flashback when she only met the third cousin in the Asylum of the Daleks. So I could talk about Quinn here. Yeah. And then a weird thing comes up where. The bad guy just tried to throw on people and then not clone on them. That's why that's a bit weird. I thought some reason they're throwing the, the news lady. I tell you, anybody that's watching the news at that point would have got, got uh, freaked out. I don't know why they would do that. And then the student head of the, of the doctor turns over the case the Mind again, forty good time. And then the doctor goes to the building, and where that guy, um, the main one that said, "Kids, follow somebody's name." That the building's not down the way. Doctor, get in there. And then the doctor's motorcycle that as he as he grabs him up, uh, and most of it, it's all functions. And just cool, doctor riding uh, a motorcycle on on top of a building. It is good. And then Doctor yeah, gets the people to release everybody from the cloud since he trapped the, the head one in there since he used the dune head doctor to do it. After the, everybody gets freed, the unit turns up and one talks to the great intelligence again and this uh, Freezer. Um, then Doctor meets Claire again and asks her to come with her. And she, she does explain why she sticks with the nanny thing. Um, but she doesn't really say yes straight away. She just says, uh, come back tomorrow and she'll probably say yes. Um, Doctor is happy that she to be able to start figuring out who uh, Clara is. Yeah, this episode is okay. The, the, the villain seems kind of weak and kind of familiar. Like, seeing in people's minds in order to feed something sounds a little familiar to the, to the idiot lantern. And after playing the villainous image is okay, but the character seems like it's done as well. Oh, and the music was just great, as always. I just love the part uh, when the like, part of the music when that's it on the motorcycle or uh, when you get the card saying, now nah, Clara, I'll kind of find out who you are. Or when he and Clara are on the motorcycle, he just comes from London and she asks him why is he doing that, bring cards around the to the place where they're going. And this one's up. Like, that. So, like I said, Maximilian and Kangan had some great chemistry in this. Uh, it might take a while for Clara to be a good character. Uh, as I remember, next episode, did I find they get better? But, yeah. Oh, yeah, quite nothing before this of the mini episode. Where Doctor is on a swing and talking to a little girl. I don't know what the whole uh, uh, 
it is because uh, I don't want to spoil it. Whenever you put the mini episode, it's just fantastic, and I would give it a five out of five the way I reviewed it. So, I mean, I give it uh, a five out of ten. And next time, Doctor and Kyle first adventure into an alien planet or world, whatever, and uh, there's this mystery going around or some sinister going around with the uh, uh, with a with a young queen who lets the serenade her grandfather into sleep or something. And this devil has one of the best pieces that the doctor has ever made. And a little more backstory into Clara in it as well. Until the time, I'll see you. I'll see you guys later.